Hi everyone, my name is Graham Monaghan and I'm standing outside of course our beloved Sligo showgrounds and it's the morning after the night before and Sligo Rovers have returned from their trip away to FH I'm not going to try and say their name in Iceland Came home with a 1-0 defeat a little bit more of that as we go on but uh, just a little mention about the showgrounds here of course a lot of people we've had many um, European nights here, not too many, not as many as other clubs, but we've had some memorable nights and a lot of people don't give Sligo Rovers the credit that they deserve back in 94, 95 when they went to Malta and got a great result away from home and then came home to the showgrounds and went on to play Bruges in the second round of the Old Cup Winners' Cup, which actually held on to a position in Europe for, for League of Ireland clubs and uh, I think it's important on, a, on this weekend that we, or this week that we have the League of Ireland clubs playing in Europe that it's remembered that thanks to Sligo Rovers we held on to a, a position and a place in European competitions. So uh, I've been asked to do uh, my review or my thoughts on last night's match. I'm not a soccer analyst and I'm not even going to try to do that but uh, I'll give you some thoughts. So as I was saying we're in the showgrounds our beloved showgrounds. Uh, my thoughts on last night are that it's great to see League of Ireland clubs uh, going into Europe with a, a big strong sense of optimism and I'd like to congratulate uh, Dundalk and Bowes on both getting very positive results last night as well and it's a, it's a great thing that, that League of Ireland clubs do believe in themselves and, and have that trust and on that last night's match for Sligo Rovers um, my thoughts is that it, unfortunately, well let's put it this way if the first game was here in the showgrounds and I think sometimes the League of Ireland clubs tend to give the European clubs uh, a little bit too much respect and stand off them a little bit rather than playing our natural game and proper League of Ireland uh, getting up in people's faces and, and playing the ball and, and, and making people work hard. I think we tend to sometimes as League of Ireland clubs stand off a little bit and show a little bit too much respect and if the home leg is in your home ground um, that gives the momentum to the away team and there's a double-edged sword on this that uh, now with the away goal, goal rule gone uh, it was given them the extra momentum to the away club uh, the visiting club from Europe to push for a goal and all of a sudden you go to the away leg and you realise what you're up against and you realise that maybe they're not the big scary ghosts that you thought they were and uh, then you try and push on but you've, you're now in a way in a way venue and you've got the away crowd to deal with and all those that comes with that and so like last night with Sligo Rovers maybe for the f well well into the first half I think Rovers were showing a little bit too much respect to FH and um, realized that they could more than compete Sligo Rovers could more than compete with them and started to improve as the game went on it's before it's unfortunate that Sligo Rovers of course carried a few injuries and a couple of players missing uh, into the game which were a big loss but having said that when McGinty out I think his his, uh, his stand-in or number two McNichols did a fantastic job he he commanded his area uh, I think as the, as the game went on he really stepped up to the plate and, and was a huge amount of, of, of a steady base behind our, our defenders and uh, a huge amount of uh, credit goes to him um, it's a pity that uh, Craig Bulger, who in my opinion has been, and I think it's across the way, everyone thinks that he was he's one of the best signings we've had in, in quite a long time, and that's no disrespect to any other signing that has been made by Sligo Rovers. Uh, but but uh, Bulger has come in and he's given that that bite to the team and and and, and the professionalism, and he drives, he's lifted everybody, lifts everybody's uh, efforts to another level, and it's 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 a big pity again that that um his first yellow card was for a professional foul um he felt he had no choice and 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 saved a breakaway from fh and then unfortunately uh, it, it was a blatant uh, dive uh rule say second yellow card and he's off now the problem with that of course is that it's rovers were on the ascendancy big time in the match uh, we were starting to compete, not only compete but dominate the game. Uh, our formation had, had had moved. We were we were playing with, with 
with confidence. Looked like we we're going to score. Missed a couple of oh, guilt edge chop chances. I just couldn't put them away. And uh, all of a sudden, Bulger's second yellow card. He's off, down to 10 men. You're playing away from home. You're trying hard to get a result. And uh, down to 10 men, they get the momentum. They get the belief, they get the confidence. And all of a sudden, we're one nil down. And uh, that's luckily the result, or not luckily, but thankfully that's as bad as it got. And the result stayed at one nil after the 90 minutes. But the double-edged sword, and, or the double whammy on that, of course, is that Bulger's now missing for the home leg here in the Shoguns. And uh, that is going to be a loss. However, we got Collie coming in. Uh, I think he has uh, more than enough ability and he's a, he's a cracking player and he's been a very great, great servant to Sligo Rovers since he arrived here at the Shoguns. And uh, I think Collie's got a little point to prove as well that he, he's more than up for the job. And uh, that's why I have absolute confidence that um, he's, he's more than able to step up to and, and fill in uh, Bulger's, Craig Bulger's boots. Another thing that I'm, I'm very confident about is that um, watching the match last night, um, there's no doubt if, if Sligo Rovers move the ball fast and pass the ball with, with, with pace, uh, like we're more than capable of doing. Uh, and if Johnny Kenny is back playing, uh, which will be a big help with his pace to turn that their defence and get in behind them and, and and make them make decisions. I think we can run the legs off FH here in the Shoguns. Uh, the Shoguns pitch has been has been increased in size over the last good few years. Thankfully, it's now in where it was one of the shortest pitches in the League of Ireland. It's now one of the longest, and uh, we've got a world class. Uh, surface here now, um, it's it's second to none, and I, I couldn't believe it this morning when I just walked in there to see it. It's absolutely stunning how beautiful it is. So that will play into our, into Sligo Rovers' hands, particularly we get that bit of pace. Um, it's a pity that um, Parks sometimes seems to drift out of games and doesn't seem to put in the effort. It's a little bit frustrating at time to watch. But again, even last night, it, it, it showed in so many glimpses of, of, of his ability to, 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 to change a game and to make that, that pass and do something that just opens up a game and, 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 and makes defenders think of what's going to happen. And uh, I think here in the showgrounds, we've only got 400 people coming in here next week, uh, but it's 400 more than we would have had last week. Well, sorry, 300 more because we've had 100 in, uh, but 400 in here and that stand over there, believe you me, the Icelandic team won't want to uh, experience the, the lovely warm Sligo welcome they may receive here in Sligo. So, as I was saying, I think Sligo Rovers now know what they're up against uh, next week coming here to Shoguns. I don't think the players have anything to fear. I think Liam Buckley is a wonderful tactician. Um, there's no doubt that he's building a, a wonderful team here at the Showgrounds. A uh, team of young, talented lads. Got to give him huge credit for that. Um, had my had my doubts at the start that he uh, would be able to achieve his, his ambitions, but definitely on the right track. Uh, our league position shows that, and a lot of the results that that uh, Sligo Rovers have got in the league. Uh, the one nil away last night in Iceland is not a disaster. As I said, Sligo Rovers now know exactly what they're up against. A little bit of luck on their side last night and uh, more than deservedly would have been taken home at least a 2-0 victory. But it's down to 10 men. Bodger unfortunately sent off and it's a 1-0 defeat. But with the away goal rule now gone, the old thing of getting an away goal gone out the window. So even if FH do manage to score a goal here in the Shoguns, it's not the end of the world. I think Sligo Rovers need to get up like they did in the second half uh, last night. Push on, don't be afraid of them. Uh, they're definitely an ageing team. Uh, run the legs off them and uh, Rovers will be in the next round of the conference. Uh, just before I go, just want to wish all the League of Ireland supporters out there the very, very best of luck for the rest of the season. Best of luck to all our clubs in European football. Uh, well done particularly to Dundalk and to Bohemians last night on their results. As I said, uh, we all care deeply about our clubs. I'm a lifelong supporter here at Sligo Rovers. My grandfather was a, a first player here in 1928. 
Uh, my dad played in the very late 40s, making his debut in 1949, and played in the 50s. Uh, so Sligo Rovers is very, very much part of my life, and uh, means an awful lot to people here in Sligo, as do all the League of Ireland clubs and League of Ireland supporters right across the country. All our clubs mean a lot to us, and I think if anything, the lockdowns have uh, shown that our, our community is very strong and I think that a lot of the clubs have stepped up to the plate and taken on the challenge with Watch LOI and LOI TV now as well. We realise that we have a brand and, a, and, a, and, a, and something that we can show the world and, sh and, 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 and spread and make bigger and be in control of the league's des destiny and build stronger clubs and uh, the future hopefully looks bright and good results in Europe will really help that uh, for everybody and uh, I wish everybody well. My name is Graham Monnan, lifelong Sligo Rover supporter. Hope you've enjoyed my little talk. Not a lot of analysis, analysis but hopefully you've enjoyed it. Best of luck everybody. Up the Rovers! Up the bit of red!